This is jujitsu or submission wrestling, my favorite sport. This is a competition. And this is the title fight for uh, the bronze. And I'd actually fought this guy earlier and he had beaten me. And because I had beaten someone that had beaten him, we had to rematch again. And the winner was going to get the bronze medal because I'd been beaten by another guy uh, who had gotten the silver or was going to get silver. And there was another gold medalist that had beat him. So this is it, the termination for bronze. And both of us are very, very, very tired at this point. And he goes in for a single leg and I try to take a guillotine. And, and I managed to get the guillotine tight enough that I'm able to actually pull him down to the ground on it and try to get a dominant position. I'm hoping to get full mount here. And uh, I do manage to, uh, he manages rather, to pull into guard. And he gets a pretty good guard on me. I try to stack him, uh, kind of putting some pressure on his head and his neck, hoping that this will also tire out his legs because at this point both of us are exhausted. This is my 10th fight of the day. And I am, I'm jello. And this guy has also had a lot of fights and he's also very tired. So both of us are exhausted. Now in this position here, uh, he has wrapped his legs around the backs of my legs. He's hooking me in. He's trying to prevent me from getting any sort of submission on him. And this is where some kind of, some stalling comes into play because when you're tired, you're trying to catch your breath. And both of our arms, both of our legs are exhausted. My back is exhausted. My arms are exhausted. My abs are exhausted. My neck is exhausted. And I'm just hoping to get in a down position. I can just hold him there. So I'm trying to pop out. I don't have any points yet. I'm hoping to get some points on this guy. So I was hoping to kind of hop out of his guard there a second ago to see if I could pass and get full mount. Um, not having a ton of success doing this. He's got a great strong guard. This guy's a good fighter. I mean, he's in competition for the bronze. And this is out of, I believe, a bracket of something like 9 to 12 people. And these are all great jujitsu fighters. And, uh, and so getting here, getting to this point was a very difficult point to get at. Uh, I'd use a lot of strategy. I had to use a lot of training, a lot of, of practice, a lot of endurance. And this is a... This is a this is the title match. This is the the tough one to try to get that third place medal and try to bring it home. So both of us know this is all on the line and this is a defining moment here. So he is holding on tight and we have been pushed out of bounds and so he's going to reset us, get us back to the center of the mat and it's going to resume back with me in his guard and uh, I need to get points because if I don't get points then I'm not going to win. And so I'm, I am trying to think of some way with how exhausted I am to get points. And I'm thinking, well, maybe if I, you know, if I stack him up like this, I can get his legs tired because we're both tired and I'll be able to jump out and kind of pass his guard that way. Maybe I can get a knuckle choke on him. So I'm, I'm going in there, you know, while stacking, I'm trying to put some pressure on his neck and I'm trying to shove my knuckles into his neck. Uh, but he is, he's good at resisting it. He managed to pull my knuckles off over and over and over again. I can't seem to get it sunk in. He's trying to do some things there to me. Uh, he grabs on the back of my neck. He's, he's, you know, pulling me aside. He's going to go for a Kimura there. doesn't quite get it. Almost flips me successfully. But the problem is when, as he's trying to flip me, he's exposing himself a little bit to, for me to get rear control. But he does manage to uh, not allow me to get rear control. But it's very close. But in the process of all that, I'm partially able to pass his guard, as you can see here. He does have one of my legs, so he has half guard. And he's holding on to it for dear life. And I managed to get out and get get side control and then get around behind him. Now this was the defining moment in the match right there where I managed to get the, his back because this is where I get points. I get three points for back control and I'm sinking in that uh, rear naked choke. And if I can if I can get this rear naked choke on him, then I can win. But also if I can just hold him here, I can win because now I've got three points. And um, it is a, it's either a waiting game or it is a submission game. And I'm hoping to submit him but I know whatever happens, as long as I can just prolong it, that I, I will end up winning at this point. And so with how tired I am, with how exhausted I am, with how much my arms just feel like jello, uh, I, I want to just hold on. Just don't lose. So taking any big risks, going for a submission is dangerous. Now, we did uh, go out of bounds there, so he's resetting us. I believe that uh, he is in my guard, which means I've got my legs around him, which is actually a dangerous position for him, but not so much right now because it takes energy and strength to make a submission attempts, and the, and I do not have energy or strength at this point. So I am, I, I'm a few points ahead. And I am happy to just hold him here and, and let him try to do submissions on me. I've got pretty good 
submission defense, at least without gi on. With gi on, I, I'm not as familiar with it. I have a harder time. But with a no gi here, uh, I am I'm pretty good at resisting submission attempts. So I'm just gonna try and catch my breath for a few seconds here because I am beyond tired. And he is trying to do things on me. He's trying to get my wrist, trying to get my arms. But uh, I'm fairly strong, you know. Uh, you know, not definitely. You know, the, the people that get silver and gold in this are definitely stronger than me. And but but this guy I'm pretty closely matched with, so I'm able to kind of hang on. He's doing to me what I did to him. He's stacking me. He's trying to wear me out. He knows I'm tired. I'm trying to push his head down, and I'm waiting for the buzzer. I'm literally counting down the seconds till this match is over. And there it is called time. I'm barely managed to survive and pass, uh, you know, with, with the win on this one, just from that back control that I had for that few seconds. That's the defining match. So my son there, the match, I ended up winning that one. And, 